Jalen, congratulations on the win. Again, three for three. How are you feeling coming out of that one, man? I feel good. I uh, started to get comfortable with my stand-up up there and showed a little, some new things, and I got the finish, so that's the main important part. Yeah, you feel like this is just all becoming so familiar with you. I mean, you know, it wasn't too long ago you were making your debut in there. Now you fought three times in the same arena, yeah. three wins, just just like clockwork at this it's point? It's going to be clockwork, and, uh, you know, I'm looking to get right back in there, too, so keep me on your radar because I'm coming. And I know uh, Bellator's headed back to California. Would you like to sneak on that card uh, with AJ McKee and Pitbull? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. They're, they're, that one's in Cali? Yes, sir. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm traveling for that one. I'm going All to right. see that. Great. And I guess where do you where do you think you go from here? I know you say you want to stay active, but does it just continue to build and, and improve? I know, but uh, I'll just continue to improve and whoever they give me, you know, continue to improve my stats. But I'm ready for any of these Bellator guys. Top 10, whoever. It don't matter. Let's go. Thanks, man. Jalen over here. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, really complete performance. You said you're starting to get comfortable in your stand-up. I mean, you were boxing them up, yeah. then you were throwing knees up the middle, yeah. side kicks. He started pressing you, you dropped down on a double, yeah. you finished it with submission. Like, every aspect of MMA was shown tonight. Yeah. I mean, you, you gotta love that. Like, you gotta give yourself an A, right? I, I tell myself a lot of times that I'm the combat king, and I gotta prove it. That's it. I gotta prove it. When, when you have this dominant performance, I mean, it was a pillar to post performance. Mm -hmm. What statement are you trying to make to the rest of the guys in Bellator, in your, specifically in your division? They know what I want. They know exactly what I want and what I'm coming for. I'm not here to be another fighter on the roster. I'm here to be the champion. So we're gonna come. We're gonna continue to improve. I'm not. There's not even. I'm not even close to done yet, and I'm not close to satisfied either. So this is good, but the thrill of the thrill of success is longer. Uh, the thrill of success is shorter than the thrill of pain. I don't want to experience pain. So obviously, you're really young, you're really blossoming. Scott Coker hinted yesterday, Bantamweight might be on the horizon for uh, a tournament. Mm -hmm. I mean, you say you want to be the champion. Are you asking mm -hmm. to get in that tournament if it happens? Absolutely. I mean, if they want to put me in there, I'm only 3-0. I'm 3-0. Oh. Oh. So if they put me in there with these guys, the guys are like 17 and 15 and 1, and sure, I'll come in and wipe the division clean. I don't care. I'm the black horse. Hey, so thank you so much, uh, Kevin from Fighter Path. Quick question here. Listen, you're young. You're only 24. That's a year older than me. Yes. You know, so you got a lot of time in your uh, career. Yeah. Would you call the bantamweight division your home and where you want to put make your name? Of course. That's all it is. I am the bantamweight division, and they will see that shortly but surely. They will see that every single fight. Every man will see that. I promise you. Looking forward. Yes, sir. All right, I'll take a couple more questions here. Jeff? Jeff Brantley from the Man in the Cage podcast. Jalen, for a young fighter, you look so composed again. Uh, not a lot of young fighters sometimes don't look that composed in there all the time. What would you credit to that? Honestly, I was telling the, the lady, AJ, who was wrapping my hands, I was like, I'm so anxious. I had so many nerves in this fight. I was so excited to just get in the cage and just get it, get out, really. So yeah, I, 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 had, I took the nerves and I transferred into energy and we came out with the dub. And we were calmed and composed to do it. I'm sorry about that. Jay? Hey, Jalen, congrats on the win. You said ahead of this one, you wanted to show your striking. You also mentioned the athleticism that you wanted to show and I think you definitely did that. How do you feel about uh, that side of your performance tonight? I feel good. I feel like I used my weight exactly like I needed to. He was a, he was a feather uh, flyweight coming up to bantamweight. So I feel like I, I used my weight where it was needed. And um, yeah, I, I stayed good. I stayed with my athleticism, got a jump knee in there. I think I was throwing some elbows and stuff. So it was a good fight. I, I think there's a lot more of my athleticism to show though. I'm not even done. Santiago? Hi, Jalen. Congratulations on a spectacular performance. That was stunning. Thank you so how much. Did you ex how did you experience the whole fight week at the Mohegan Sun? And Bellator is going back to the Mohegan in August again. Would you like to return here? Yeah, I mean, I, I love Mohegan Sun. I really want to fight. I can't wait to fight everywhere else that uh, Bellator is going to fight. This is my third time here in less than nine months. So, yeah, in less than nine months. So, I mean, it feels great coming back here. It's almost like a second home. Bellator and Scott Coker really want to invest in young, homegrown fighters and build them up to the top. You are 3 0 now and you have looked spectacular despite being just 24 years of age. Is, is everything exactly going as you planned, Jalen? Honestly, yeah, I've been dreaming about this since I was a kid, since like 12 years old. Um, and I'm not even done. I'm living my dream right now. And uh, every, every day, it's just, it's just, I just think, I'm just 
grateful, really. I just wake up with an attitude of gratitude. And I'm just thankful to be here, really. Dylan? Hey there, Jalen. I appreciate you making some time. Thank you. Uh, always. I'm just curious because like when I spoke to you after your last fight, after you got that one-armed guillotine, you were saying, oh, it's actually much prettier in practice. Like, what were your thoughts on the arm bar tonight? Is it generally prettier in practice or was that picture a perfect form there? Honestly, I was going for even, I was even going for a more crucial arm bar than that, but he ended up rolling and I couldn't lock in the arm the way I wanted to. But I was gonna, when he was down and on his knees, I was just gonna have the arm bar right there and finish it right there. But I lost the position and you know, in this fight, short timing is everything. So it was a short moment, but I lost it, but we still got the finish of that arm bar. All right, thanks for the time, Jalen. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, can I just give a shout out to American Top Team? Thank you so much to my guys at home, affiliation management. I want to thank my manager, DeJuan Blank, right here, and Ainsworth Official. Shout out to you guys, sponsorship. And last but not least, I want to say thank you to Bellator. Thank you for having me on this platform. We're coming, we're coming for that belt, and sooner or later, I'll be the champion.